The Shanghai Hard Fork is the Ethereum blockchain's next big upgrade since its shift to a proof-of-stake system in September 2022. EtherWorld founder Pooja Ranjan explains the five most important things that she says you should know about this upgrade. First up, over 18 million staked Ether will become withdrawable. As people may know that uh, back in 2020, when Beacon Chain was introduced, it enabled people to stake their ETH on Ethereum blockchain. But that was one way journey, like people can add their um, Ether, they can become a validator, perform certain duties and earn the rewards. However, these rewards were uh, not realized in real sense, like they cannot withdraw it. Second, the withdrawal only applies to validators that help operate the network. This change may not impact anyone who is holding Ether uh, in their um, wallet. It will only impact validators. Not every wallet is ready to be withdrawable. There is a process set up. Like uh, when we were inviting application for becoming validator, we had a set up process. Similarly, we have a process for withdrawing money as well. But for general transaction, even during the upgrade, there will be no impact. Third, the withdrawal is enabled in two ways. People can withdraw partially, which is called partial withdrawal, and they can withdraw fully. So in partial withdrawal, what they can do, they can leave their 32 ETH, which is a mandatory ETH stake amount, on the chain and take out the extra, that excess that they have earned over a period of time. However, when it comes to full withdrawal, they are choosing to exit out of uh, the chain. So it gives flexibility to our users. So will a mass withdrawal of staked ETH affect the price of Ether? As per my understanding of protocol, that is that should not be a case for multiple reasons. There are not many validators who have upgraded their wallet to become withdrawable. Unless that wallet is withdrawable, they won't be able to withdraw. That's one thing. The second and important thing is like, uh, like uh, being a validator, there was a queue. So when it comes to like withdraw the money, then also there will be a queue and every uh, application, like every request that is coming to consensus layer has a certain wait time. So we are trying to spread it out even so we do not lose the balance of number of validators on the chain. We don't want to be drastically down, right? So we are trying to maintain it. And now again, not everyone who is validating would be coming out with full withdrawal. Many of them would be on partial withdrawal. So not a lot of ether will be in the market at one point of time. Last but not least, while crypto traders, analysts, and industry insiders have referred to this key upgrade as the Shanghai hard fork, and it's not technically wrong, Ethereum developers have coined a more accurate name. Chapella. Shanghai is the name of the hard fork on execution layer, but that's one half of the Ethereum chain. The next half of the Ethereum chain, which is called consensus layer, has upgrade, which is named with Capella. Capella is the name of a star, and um, uh, that will bring some more changes on the consensus layer of the Ethereum blockchain. So together, the upgrade that community may expect will be called as Chapella. It's a derived word for Shanghai and Kapela, so we call it Shapela.